And he tries to flag. No. So you are going to be flags, right? How are you doing Kelly Crowd? Today is a little bit different because we are meeting an old friend of mine. And the person we're meeting is Anthony from AVM Fitness, a trainer who specializes in teaching calisthenics in his area in North London the locals joke that he's got all the mums doing muscle ups and he's also insane on the bars himself. I actually used to go to school with him. So when I found out he had a gym of his own, it almost didn't make sense to not go and check it out. I'm actually really, really excited about this. We're gonna go and have a play around as we know, play and movement and exploration of that movement is really, really important to calisthenics. So no real specific focus on training today, just testing skills and testing strength. And I think the gym will be open as well. So hopefully we'll get to see some of the calisthenics beasts that attend that gym too. Let's go get into it. The reason I find it's easier, mm. me personally, is I've got good grip strength. Mm. So if I'm starting to put out position, I know I can kind of retrieve that. Yeah. And, myself. and I find that even with the um, L6 going to handstands, yeah. if I'm starting to wobble, I can literally grip. Yeah. And I know I can control it through the wrists. Yeah. Whereas when I try them on the floor, once I've gone to that point of it's no yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. retrieve that. Whereas yeah. the bars, oh, like the other day I held like that 25 second one. I nearly lost it three times. Really? But I was just holding it and I was like, no, I've got it. And, and you can always like just stand and parallax. Could, like, what, how do you feel about that straight bar hand stands? So yeah, it's more advanced. Yeah, because I've yeah. seen some people go from like muscle up or front lever into straight bar hand stands. Yeah, that, that's uh, rather than like... It's crazy because like, you get, I feel you get more strength from this angle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, squeeze on the wrist, squeeze your wrists so you can control oh, your balance. Me personally, I find it easier to slightly wider. Okay. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Well, listen, that's not bad at all. Feels alien. I've been learning over lockdown, he's a um, new guy. Yeah, I, I learned how to stand over lockdown as well, and it's, it's still a bit shaky. But, um, so like, the, the reason why, so like, I was learning kick up to handstand, but I found that um, I, it just felt like I was bashing my head against the wall. Yeah. Like, literally, I kick up every single day kick up against the wall, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm wasting a lot of time here. Let me at least learn to handstand up, but also build strength at the same time. Yeah, yeah I get that. Yeah. So um, I did a lot of pipe push-ups, a lot of chest to wall handstands. Um, and then one day, literally, I just found I could literally transition from a frog stand into a handstand. Yeah. And I was like, sweet. So I was like, you know what? Let me nail this. I can't tuck crunch, but at least from the strength built from a frog stand, I can get into yeah. a handstand. Everyone's different. For me, I thought the flag's the easiest one. He's on flag. 
Yeah, I thought it was the easiest one. Full lever. Full lever. Before front, back. Yeah, yeah. Why I felt I just, I just got it. Mm. Certain holes, you know, I just get it. Yeah, I just yeah, get it. Yeah. Some people with the, with the, um, the movement or a muscle up, mm. even with the band, it just, it's just not connected. Yeah. It's working. Some people like shred, boom, like, yeah. you get it. Yeah, yeah. Because you get that feeling, you know, I've yeah. got that movement pattern, I know how to, I know how it works roughly in my head, the fundamentals of it. I felt it was a flag, I just knew how to lock there, what's engaged, what I just felt, it was just mm. right. That's why I got that from first. The human flag comment you made, I've heard that once before, I kind of brushed it off, I was like, nah, you're a free flag. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, you so. like, but then, now that you've said it, it's making me think like, hmm, like, have you tried the flag? No. Try okay. today. Listen, let me, we'll try that, I'll just show you a progression. Yeah. So you are going to do the flag today? Oh, it's yeah. assisted. Yeah, I've got to drop it completely in. Okay. So already it's banned. Probably too, too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Push it forward. Push it forward. Yeah, that's it. And what do you do? So I can just see. But I'm going to push it. Okay. There's one over there. And just really have a grip this one. There you go. So see your hips? Just rotate them aside. There you go. There we go. Over here. I'm not smart. I'm feeling it so much in the elbow bits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna fit in very strange places. And weirdly here. Yeah, like, yes, I have a glute vid. So, yeah. yeah, you're gonna fit it there. So this band yeah. is probably too. Uh, Should we do the black one or the purple one? And make sure your hands are in line with each other. Yeah, yeah you put that one. Yeah. I'm gonna guide you a little bit. That is gonna be. That is beautiful. Look, look, that is beautiful. Look out. That's it. Am I like pushing outwards? Tension, uh, what you'll do is to lift your leg up here. Yeah. Really tension your uh, legs. When you're ready, you let me know. Whew. That's it. No, with me personally, what I like to just, I have the slightest bit. Yeah. And from here, I like to lock out. So I'm really get into that shoulder, open up. Yeah. Here. I like to just, it's kind of like a hook. Yeah. So I treat it as a hook, it just hooks on, I'm here. All, most of work yeah. really comes down to here. Yeah. That's why you obviously try. That's it guys, first part of my video with Anthony. I hope you really enjoyed getting a look at that calisthenics play around and really taking a look at just exploring movement. That's a really big aspect of calisthenics training, something I haven't done in nearly a year. I'll be back again with Anthony in the next video where he'll be sharing what it's like to set up a calisthenics gym and just be a business owner in the fitness industry. So definitely be sure to check that out if that interests you. In the meantime, check out Anthony. I'll link down to his Instagram in the description below. And until the next one, guys, peace.